says, I shall relate the Galisaco de la Vega, what Pedro de Cesar de Leon told me that he had a province where giants arrived. They affirmed that he, in Peru, they contained uh, that certain giants came ashore on the coast of the Cape, now called St. Helen, uh, which is near the town of wow. The town of Puerto Viejo. Those have presented the tradition from father to son. Says that the giants came from sea, kind of rush boats, made like large barks. Uh, Battle axe de John, fates come de grade barques. That they were so enormously tall that they that from a knee downward they had as high as a common man. That they had long hair which hung loose upon their shoulders, but their eyes were large as plates and that the other parts of their bodies were big in proportion. That they had no beards and that some went naked and others were covered with the skin of wild beasts and that they had women with them. The country was named Peru by accident. This was the name the first, uh, the name of the first Indians seen by the Spaniards. On being asked what the country was, mistook the name being replied the name Peru. Vega. The reader referenced the description of the Chinese and Japanese vessels in chapter one which then not tell the remark uh, who jumped in the mass proved an identity of the Mongols and in the Incas. Black Devils. So the domestic animals, corn, and the plantations and other possessions, if such as this are divided equally between the widow and older children, each taking such articles as would be the most useful to him or her. When a woman dies and her jewelry, or ornaments, and clothes are divided between her daughters, the marriage tie is a someone, the somewhat a loose one. And the more the Indians come in contact with the civilization, the looser it seems to become. In British Honduras, the Indians are closely associated with the Spaniard, mestizos, Negroes, and other races. The women change their partners with the utmost uh, 
back uh, facility, the Negroes are called the kitchen boss, the black devils by the Indians. So now you get that they saying that the Olmecs, the same ones that are, you know what I'm saying, no longer exist. Now they call them the same ones, black devils again. So let's see where we keep getting this. Indians, the term which harbors originate, uh, originated and is now employed with in particular uh, they are glorious. Uh, let's see what that means. Nobody knows. Scorn or criticism. Basically, being offensive. Significant as many of the Mayan women show no repugnance to a Negro husband. A good deal of the uh, immorality is brought about by the cheapness of rum and the, f <laughs> the facility uh, with which the it is obtained by the Indians. The husbands take a drink and neglect their wives and family and are probably get entangled with some other women. The wife, in order to obtain food, clothing, and shelter for her children, is driven to an alliance with the other man who is better provider the consequent this is that the British Honduras, all degrees of racial mixture are to be found between the Indian women and the European, the East Indian, the Chinese, and Negro men who again intermarry and produce bewildering racial uh, kaleidoscope. The Indians are short lived race. All right, now they gave us that little bit of bullshit. You know, I just wanted to get the black devil part out. That was it. You know, true to me, spit out the bones. So. And the Genghis Khan, the West of Shia, the Mongoloids established China and the residents of Yukon's rule, Peru and Mexico, and the conquest accompanied in the 13th century. Okay, Maya and Lee and Strabo used the company Iona, the islands of the GNC, until driven from them the Ionians and the Dorians. When they say established themselves in the mainland, the Suyas called them pirates. Herodotus bound to defend his countrymen from the uh, imputation and simply represented themselves as a warlike and seafaring people that were requested man the ships of King Minos. And they styled themselves the most famous nation of the earth. They dressed of the Carian women consisted of linen tunics, which required no fastening identical, identical which they were used like by the Mayan women from time immemorial, according to the frescoes that adorned the walls of the funeral chambers of Prince Ko in the Chinchin Yucatan. It's still worn them to this day. The evident credo of the Sudius and also Herodotus, this that these cranes were warlike and that they are also seafaring. Although Herodotus impugns uh, impugns imp and impugnation against his countrymen being pirates, still he admits that they requested. The form, the crew of the King Minnow ship, and certainly that they possess the same characteristics and the homonyms as the Caras or the Caribs of the Antilles in Southern America. Like these, these boasted of being the most valiant and the most famous nation on earth and having uh, dominated the sea for a long time 
and the Karens of Asia for their neighbors. Many of their customs were identical, remarkable, able to among these were the institutions of the genocracy the that is in reign of the women and their family and influential civil society and on her authority of the states these customs cannot we will get into the word shilango or the shilanga possibly from the mayan shalan toss of the curl hair the zila, the bristle, the frost, the birds, the hair, the feathers, the zeal, the iguana, the backbone. A person from Mexico City of the Federal District of Chilango, this must be used as the shishi or the zizi. In order to in order to interpret the events which occurred in 60 BC, we must keep our minds on applied in East Germany, uh, commerce far from the south of Denmark, that the Belgian Netherlands, the region most likely applied in these states, that in the time of Augustus, uh, Germanian classes, uh, Circum Vecta of Serbonium, uh, Prothonium, a fleet sailed around, uh, around Germany to the palmetry of the Cimbri in Denmark. I also plainly uh, believe that the Indios had reached the Germanic speaking zone by the way of a fictitious sea, which was thought by him to have connected India with the Baltic. We know, however, that the only way that people that looking like Indians could have been driven by a storm to the northern Europe would have been across the Atlantic from America. It should be also noted that the Suave group of Germanic speaking tribes was thought by some to have included the uh, the angels, a people living at the later date along the North Seashore of Germany. Several later uh, later writers citing the Nepos accounts Assume that the Indians were driven across the Atlantic. Certainly, there is no reason to doubt that the builders of Teotihuacan and the Olmecs were engraved in widespread trade, or that they possessed uh, navigational capabilities. To mention only two American groups active in 60 B.C. time period, archaeological evidence may also support later eastbound voyages, since the Inuit and Eskimo type harpoon heads have been found at two locations in Ireland and Scotland for sim for example a harpoon head is very warm condition and it was found in country down Ireland of which the absolutely certain that the archaic Eskimo origin specifically the harpoon head is a thole type dated probably between the 10th and 13th centuries it is unlikely to have been carried to Ireland by a seal or a walrus and most likely that it was taken there by living Inuit hunter, hunters, perhaps the Norse vessel. The authors report to find this so far a harpoon head in a mythological period recovered from Ireland, and present uh, specimens have parceled among the prehistoric European finds. The harpoon heads found in Scotland may be of the old Thule type, and this perhaps an earlier date of the Irish discovery. It was found before 1876 in the Abershire and Sandy Ground. Anyway, navigation will be discussed below. We're not reading any more of that. All right. The Indian subcontinent in Southeast Asia journeyed into Mexico on ships in the Manila Galleon. Upon arrival in Mexico, they had grouped together and categorized as Chinos. The experience illustrated that the uh, interconnectedness of Spain's colonial and reach of the crown, which brought people from Africa, America, Asia, and Europe, and historically unprecedented, uh, yeah, unpre unprecedented ways. In time, Chinos in Mexico came to be treated under the law as Indians, becoming indigenous vassals of the Spanish crown in 1672. The implications of the legal change were enormous as Indians rather than Chinos. They could no longer be held as slaves. Tatiana Sejas, 
tracks Chino complex journey from slavery markets in Manila to the Straits of Mexico City and from the bondage to the liberty it is doing so that challenges the commonly held assumptions about the Chinos. The inhabitants of Asia have had a long controversial connection between the Iberian connected Iberian conquered Americas. Even the name Indios, Indians, bestowed upon the native people uh, belied European hopes on the inception of reaching the wealthy exotic kingdom of the East. Sought by Christopher Columbus ever in 1498, there had been much speculation on the origin of the Native American and the Asian pre-Columbian contact cultures. Central and South America speaking in terms in the past 5,000 years, or arguably longer, there are reliable archaeological of human chronologically evidence of Asians ever having sailed to America prior to Miguel Lopez de la Paz. The expedition of New Spain to the Philippines in 1564 and 65, which ushered in a new era of regular maritime commerce across the Pacific Ocean. The Manila Galleon or the Nios de China ships transported Asian products and individuals to Acapulco and other Mexican ports for approximately 250 years during the first wave. The trans... Uh, the trans pan African asian migration traveled from Cathay, Sipango, Japan, to the Philippines and various kingdoms of Southeast Asia and India, where known collectively in New Spain as Chinos or Chinese or Indios or Chinos or China, Chinese Indians, as the word Chino China became synonymous with Asia. By the human sacrifice on the Temple of Tigers. Oh, yeah, this shit right here. <laughs> Comerica, these is Africans. Sad. Since these tribes have known of them and their neighbors without having made use of them, possibly the Chinese vessels formerly carried a few of them to America, and some of these tribes then used them. But it is well known to what point these savages of America carried their cruelty towards the conquered tribes. Their war caused frequent migrations and the complete annihilation of several nations of consequent and destruction of the usage a usage of commerce. Finally, no one undertakes to guarantee all the that is contained in the relations of Marco Polo and Plan Carpan and Rubiquis. These ancient travelers have sometimes wandered uh, from the truth, and yet we cannot merely upon this count sweepingly condemn all of their statements. The Chinese travelers may have allowed himself to be deceived by something that he saw and may have applied the names of horses to certain animals of the country of Quivara or Cibola, which resemble the, them in size and which the Spaniards have called sheep on the account of the wool that they bear. In the same way that we have given the name of European animals to several animals of the Americas, notwithstanding the fact that they are of a different species and regarded that the cattle mentioned in the account. Since we have discovered the country of Quivera and Hudson Bay in the Mississippi, a species of cattle has been found with large horns, so that no difficulty remains regarding this point that we may conclude that the Chinese navigators landed in North of California, whereas they found these animals. A more exact description of the tree called Fusang would contribute towards enabling us to determine the region more definely all that is said that they agree rather with some trees in America with any that occurred in the frozen land of Kamkata and we use that that are made that there are much manufacture of these stuffs and the clothes and the papers spoken of in the account appear to indicate a civilized people inhabiting a temperature a, te a temperate country 
such as in the neighborhood of California rather than the country of Kamakacha and the inhabitants of which retire into caverns and are clothed in skins and are too barbarous to make cloth and paper and have uh, letters of true literature and characters and expression their ideas and things unknown. Discussing veracity and ex explain the obscurities the first impersonation made upon one who reads it with the idea of Hussein lay somewhere in the American continent. It is proved rather too much judging by what we yet know of the nation and the tribes who once dwelt there. I do not mean that in a notice it gives off the houses, unwalled cities, curious modes of judging prisoners, and mourning customs could not have applied to the natives of Mexico or Peru, but have not the air of the narrative of a man who had actually lived there. It is easy to, easily to reply that all traces of these people mentioned have been lost, so that our present ignorance of the earlier civilization proves not, nothing either way. Still, the account reads more like the description of a land having many things in common with the countries well known to the speaker and the hearers, and to whose peculiarities were otherwise worth recording. The shaman who we shin may have been one of the five priests who went to Fusan from Kupin. Kaipen is the Chinese name for the uh, Kopahin, uh, the region mentioned by the Buddhist travelers, uh, Fahim, under the name, and by Strabo and Pliny, is situated between Gahini and the Kandar, along with the western slopes of the Suleiman Mountains, in the upper valley of the Helamon River. These priests uh, probably traveled far north of China, in their missionary tour described by D uh, by the D Guyanese, D Escalada and the Fusain until it had became it had become familiar to them. If I think that Ma Twain Lin inserts Hu Swain's account next to the the, the high eye, that's crazy. From the idea that both kingdoms lay in the same direction. He seems to have found no account of the later date but the long intervals of seven centuries furnished nothing worth recording about the land so insignificant as Fusain. We can hardly imagine that such would have been the case with a country that reached uh, by a long sea voyage once where stupendous mountains, great rivers, well-built cities, or citadels of people with black or dark red complexions would each make a deep impression upon an Asiatic. It is just as likely that the junk drifted across the Pacific Ocean in the 6th century as in the 9th century by Hushwin in the silent respect and the manner in which it returned to Fusain as the way it reached it. If the priests have traveled towards Ots and the, beyond the river of Andar and reached Okay, this article is called Don't Call Us Traitors. Descendants of Cortez, Allies Defend Role in Toppling Aztec Empire. Which is the Mayan Empire, wasn't it? Aztec Empire, as we've been reading. Early history is not least when indigenous Taxicalans allied with Hernan Cortez and a tiny band of invaders to bring down, bring down the Aztec Empire. Now the, Mex the, the Mexico marks its 500th anniversary of the fall of the Aztec capital. At Teotihuacan on Friday, the role of the uh, Texas colonies in the conquest is being reconsidered. Many historians argue that without the participation of Texas colonies and other indigenous soldiers, the Texas colonies might never have fallen to the Spanish. Tino Tichlan.
Cortez had 30 to 40,000 Mesoamericans fighting with him, said Ariel Lopez Corral, an associate in Texacala. He could have done it. He could not have done it on his own. The conquest is a singular event in Mexico's history, seen both as a moment of national trauma and the founding act of a nation, and it remains deeply, uh, remains deeply controversial. The events to mark the anniversary have been met with uh, tepid enthusiasm as Mexico struggles to, uh, with the uh, carnivorous pandemic. The towering replica of the Templo Mayor of the Aztec civilization, most sacred site, is being erected in Mexico City in Central Tecalo Plaza. President Andres Manuel Lopez Abrador has called the Spanish crown and the Vatican to apologize for the role in the so called conquest of Spain decline. He said, not my babies. You gonna you gonna stand strong and be proud of that shit. He called back apologizing because we ain't sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. Right, all these artifacts are American. They found in South America. These are Father Crespi's artifacts. This is a good one. Free black tributaries of slaves. The subgroups together composed of the Traza and the number of 55,000 in the mid 19th century. And the final components of the Senegambian world of the French and the inside of the base of the St. Louis of the mouth of the Senegal River. Although the Portuguese were in the 15th century, the first Europeans on the Senegambian coast. By the 17th century, France and Britain were dominated with Britain interest in the Gambia River and the French around the Senegal River. The French came to the Senegal to trade and, and not to conquer the territory. Their control for the mid 17th and uh, 19th century will, uh, was limited therefore to St. Louis to be the island of Gregory uh, off the Cape Verde. A few minor forts in the post Small domains were survived by the official, generally naval officials called the governor. And until the mid 19th century, these governors tried to maintain good relations with their neighbors to remain neutral on local uh, conflicts and paying tribute to the rulers whom they traded. It says uh, St. Louis, which became the starting point of the French imperialism in Senegal and the Western Sudan was before 1850, only one member of the Senegambia system, St. Louis. However, the resources of the metro, uh, metrolope behind it and therefore the advantage over the African powers in Senegal. St. Louis was also part of the European political system and as such, it was twice occupied by British in the 18th century. In 1817, the French uh, regained control. Its population totaled 10,000, and whom 2,020 were European, 642 Afro-Europeans. 
1,475 free Africans and 7,968 slaves. The whites were soldiers and civil servants and traders, mostly representatives of the charter company, while, uh, which existed until 1848. Free black tributaries and slaves in the subgroups together, composed of the Traza and numbered up to 55,000 in the mid 19th century. The final components of the Senegambian being world of the French and their islands based in St. Louis in the mouth of the Senegal River, although the Portuguese were in the 5th century, the first Europeans in Senegambia. Wait, do we just read this? Yes. Damn, I'm missing parts that I really wanted. about his name however there is no doubt and the paintings correspond precisely with the wilds de la vega and tells us the tenzao divinity a cow maya ek ahuat name which is translated to the black chief or the king of the blacks he is reported to have been a famous warrior and the most cruel he was depicted in the figure of ferocity the fierce blackamoor with the member uh, the members of a man the blacks of whom he was king were seven in number and were painted in the most of the native calendars and the bishop found amongst the textiles of the Tenzentos. Uh They were the signs of seven days beginning, he added Friday, which may have been an error in his explanation for the master. Among the remainder of the seven were doubtless uh, the gods. Although Mayan boats have been uh, rediscovered, recovered, there is ample evidence that the dugout canoes were stranded mean, uh, were standard means of transportation. Aside from the matter of size, we can safely assume that the raft crafts were smaller than seagoing boats. Maya canoes took several forms, including illustrious appearance on uh, bones found in the royal burials and textile depict some of these variants. My uh, illustrations show most objects in profile, which limits our understanding of the canoe design to which uh, to uh, designs the, of that view, but show some clear difference in shear line. And you got them right there. Slide by, you got the I'm taking trips off the boat, off the coastline. See the dark ones control the boats. You see that prison again? We talking about that prison is gonna be in the north. Take them back where they came from back across the, the northern trip where they came only way we know how y'all came down the coastline you take your ass back up the coastline you see we got the locks you see them feeding hearts to to the god My rulers being dressed in giant animal headdresses. Chilango is a de uh, deviation of, from the wall of the world of Chilan, or Chilan meaning messy hair. Therefore, goes for saying the word Chilan is used in Veracruz ports to name anyone coming from inside the country and not the coast. There are most notorious characteristics was that they have fuzzy hair because of their lack of water to bathe. Some people, the Puebla and, or Bizaka or Ziba or whatever that was. It's still remembered when I had a kid, a common phrase in North Mexico has uh, partia mata uh, un chilango. Uh, make the motherland happy, kill a chilango. You know, this very special and loving feeling that the people now living in the big city have against those living the big life.
right here we have the voyage numbers of the slave boats you know so let's go through and let's keep it real let's see how many this came from the Emory University the voyage databases this was the table from t uh, September 2016 as you can see we have mainland North America from 1501 to 1525, zero Africans that came in. From 1526 to 1550, zero. 1551 to 1575, zero. Uh, my bad, y'all. My fingers in the way. Y'all can't see my fingers, but my fingers in the way. 1601 to 1625, zero. 1676 to 1700, 8,306. 1701 uh, to 1725. Uh, 32,060. 1726-1750, we have 526, and right before we dwindle out from 51 to 75, 1,884, the grand total of 308,005 people. Joy Tiger. Witnessing the early seventeen hundreds, the great morning seven ceremony in Boots de Monts. Which is later state of Wisconsin, the mourners began their ceremony by smoking uh, the clement and they poured some rum over the graves and drank some themselves and then smoked again. Pond describes the proceedings of the benevolent, benevolent disposition. It seemed to him to have been the mourning Indian, certainly known to enjoy themselves with this celebration. It was only the beginning. It says, we lustingly drunk, ravaging, striking, shouting, jumping, fighting each other, and foaming at the mouth like raging wild beasts. However, when they first look, another description of disorderly drunken Indians turns into turns out to be a native healing ceremony after a lengthy ser sermon of the evils of the liquor. The two pious Dutch uh, latterists mentioned the that these Indians had. Canticoy to uh, there today and is conjured the devil and liberated the woman among them who is possessed by him and said to only thank the casual comment to become clear and righteous and righteous sense of the drunkenness were facts and part of a ceremonial performance in the word Santico or Santicoy in an angelized version of the Napé Delaware Indian word, uh, Gentican, the dance or to sing and dance at the same time, was used by the colonists as a general term of the native religious ceremonies. It's a religious act. Uh, were often perform regularly once a year. The grave and descended person of the Delaware is finally symbolized the end of the mourning period by drinking. For after a while, the mourners considered to be persuaded to get up and drink rum and be confronted by Astrum's runs in ten. Ray Jameson, who spent four years with the captives and the further seventh one of her own free will. With the Seneca, remember in 1823 that in the former times among the Iroquois, probably because of the handsome lake prohibited reforms, frolics, we held nine days after the funeral for the dead.
It says in the Southeast, the great corn ceremony or the bus was by far the most important annual celebration. This, uh, it was the rite of Thanksgiving and at the same time in the means of purify the whole social order in the Southeastern society, the drink, the drinking of liquor was likewise not included for an uh, excluded form of celebration. It is sometimes assumed uh, during the initial phase a bus took eight to four or eight, uh, say eight, four or eight days, either four or eight days, my bad. Yeah. The men fasted and and methods were taking to achieve a state of ritual purity and a time of drinking and spirituous liquor was strictly prohibited. But after the new fire was uh, lighted, a time began, which in the early 18th century, the Creek Indians spit um, bit is in tricking and tents and eating, drinking and dancing, according to the German tra uh, traveler Philip. So they drink till they die after some funerals. Quite a total. We gonna get into Peter Ogden. AKA Mr. B Leader of the Black Maces. I repeat to my nigga Cliff. Long live Cliff. Here we go. Is this the right one? We're going to get into the Underground Railroad being a business also. Uh, they were selling niggas to the North. They were not. They were not doing this out of the love of their heart. They were getting paid to take them, them, them black French people up to, to motherfucking Canada and then take them black Acadian French people who came from Europe that they just kicked out. The same edict in the Nets. Take those same Frenchies right back up to Canada. Where they had sent them to Nova Scotia in the first place, out of Ireland and France, and they sent them to Africa. But you'll notice that Morel and them, they was out here hitting licks, boy. They wasn't out here on no save nobody shit, boy. They got caught up, they killed you. You just know that. Columbus with the little afro, y'all see him, Columbus. Portugal, Colombo offered today Portugal. Woman reduced to Pedro de Pardo, municipality of the Oscar Sabelo Hazante, 30 years ago, who the figures as one of the oldest remains and initial colonized in the America, the last wave of human remains incorporated into the clan, are the 31 skulls found 160 years ago by Danish naturalist Peter Lund in Circumando Cave, one of the archaeological sites of the mining Lago Santa Landa Luzia. Walter Nevis to the University of Sao Paulo, uh, classified with the help of uh, computer computational model as belonging to the Paleo Indians with the traits similar to those of Luzia, 
who's aged approximately 11,000 years ago. The nose is wide, the eye sockets and the face projected forward and the head narrow and elongated. With lung material, we now have data on the physical characteristics of 81 skulls from the Lago Santa and the largest samples of the ancient skeletons in the Americas. It says, Don the region during the middle of Highlands again, the rock shelters Accordance to Lago Santa and the crest of the Paleo Indian slash and agriculture and the pottery making a part of the culture. Okay, no, we were trying to read that part. Read the part about the skulls. Okay, here we go. So, information derived from several uh, comparative morphology studies in the earliest human skulls on the continent has suggested a complex scenario regarding the influx of humans to the new world see the supporting text which published as a supporting information in pinas uh, website and recent support of the use of cranial morphology as a legitimate tool to recover the recent human evolutionary history whereas the late prehistoric recent and present native american trend to exhibit a cranial morphology similar to the late modern Northern Asian short, wide, neurocranial, high, uh, orthogantic, and broad faces, and relatively high and narrow orbits and noses. And the earlier South Americans tend to be more similar to the present Australians, Melanesians, and Sub Saharan Africans. Narrow and long neurocranium, progantic, long faces relatively low and broad orbits and nose. The latter is known to the literature of the Paleo-American morphology. However, most studies carried out a far regarding the morphology of the first Americans were based on a small cranial sample because human burials older than 8,000 years are rarely found in the Americas, especially the uh, North and Central America in the paper of morphology. Uh, affinities of the early South Americans are assessed by using large samples of early American skulls ever studied. All specimens were recovered in Lago Santa region in central Brazil because the human population was present a high degree of uh, internal morphological variabilities. Previous studies based on the early American cranial morphologies were unable to completely rule out the sampling uh, abnormalities and outlines the explanation of the results generated. Consequently, several uh, specialists have questioned whether the peculiar cranial patterns described above for the first South American actually expressed is certainly a uh, tendency of this. Let me see what it's going into. It said, Pliocenic dry climatic conditions apparently did not allow a real human settlement within the Kratz of Lagos during the period. It is widely known that the Kratz of general are rich in uh, raining stems uh, but poor in surface water. During the last millennia, the Pliocenic human were not formally, but apparently when the group was crossing the area, uh, sporadically exploring it, eventually casu uh, casualties were uh, expandedly treated, corpses were uh, simply laid down in extended positions in narrow projected niches with caves and cavities and was in case of, I can't see that, possible confirms man, you can't really, I'm, I'm mad the way they cut my shit off. The morphology and infinites of Lago Santo skulls were first analyzed throughout the principal conditions and that uh, analysts were assumed uh, heritability of 0 0.55 calculated by using REMT 5.0 written under John H. Relingford available on request applied to the size of the shape and on shape information alone the males and females were analyzed separated and influenced on size was corrected by dividing the value of each uh, craniomatic variable the geometric means of all variable measures in one individual 
the heredit, uh, heredibility value expressions and average among the variations in the skull morphology that is estimated to be due in genetic contributions. Okay, my mom about to sneeze. <laughs> oh, shit. Excuse me. I didn't motherfucking fuck this shit up. My fault, y'all. Okay. So there are three different quantitative analyses that are taken in the study that demonstrates that first South Americans exhibit cranial morphology that is very different from the late modern Northeastern Asian and the Meridian. Uh, short and wide narrow cranial high orthogantic uh, faces and relatively high and narrow orbits and noses are very similar to present Australasians and Melanesians and Africans, especially with the former narrow and long neurocranial uh, prognatic low faces and uh, relatively low and broad orbits and noses. The study tends to be unlike the results of the sample basis of the phenomena cannot as well be said as represents the result of a microevolutionary process uh, restricted to Lago Center because the same cranial patterns have already been described in places as distant as uh, ecologically different as Southern Chile, the Magellan Straits, Colombia, uh, the Saba de uh, Bogota, Mexico, the Mexico Basin, the Baja California, the United States, Florida, and elsewhere in Brazil, the Sao Paulo. Two different hypotheses can be proposed to explain the morphology and differences observed between the earlier and the late grandparents. That's Scipio and that's Dina. That's Grandma Keller Born. That's my grandma Martha Skipper Quick. I already read that. Queen. stuff if y'all want to hit pause and read through it very amazing literature are uh, we going to the indian forts 15th century the major architectural variations of the best in system is named the projecting diamond angle shape and formations added onto the fort walls the most commonly effectively used and skilled workmen and masons uh, recruited in Cuba, these men are gathered and forced to work as the Cuban convicts as well as merely the Tamuquin and the, the Gule and the Appalachian Indians to build the fort. On October 2nd, 1672, the ground had been broken on the building of the fortress and the work had began. Indian Star Fort Builders. I see people that have been arguing over that for a while, you know what I'm saying? I hope they can come to terms with that shit. You know what I'm saying? It was, they were using Adobe with 50. You know what I'm saying? The thick walls. It says, on seven years after the new fort was furnished by James Moore and the British forces in South Carolina, that tracked to St. Augustine in 1702, the Moors ca uh, Moore captured the, the town and set the cannon up among the houses to fire at the fortress for 50 days. The British designed the fort to the fort, but the strange thing happened instead of shattering the quirky stones absorbed the shock of the hit and the cannonball just bounced off and stuck in a few inches of the shell rock work. The cannonball fired at a more solid material such as granite or brick, which shattered the wall. 
but the flying shards, but the cannonball fired at the wall could still borrow the way the rock and struck there, much like a bee would uh, fire into a styrofoam, so uh, so that the thick cohesive wall absorbed the deflect the projectiles yielding to them. Boom. Face with the one. Well, we get into that one. Uh, have you ever seen Ptolemy and Cleopatra? <laughs> yeah, sleep on that one. That shit hurt. I know. Let it go, though. One day we'll run through that. All right, y'all. We don't get up out of here. I'm sorry, man. It's a long one. Holler, y'all, my niggas. Y'all be safe. Love.